I'm Max Cohn, I'm a 17, and I'm an engineer and a rock climber. I am an ABBE in my concentration is in chemical processes and I'm also a chemistry minor. I've always been interested in science and technology and I really wanted to do something that would impact people and solve problems that will help people and that's what engineering is, it's solving problems to help people. My senior year of high school I became interested in rock climbing when my little brother went to a birthday party at a rock gym and he really liked it so I started driving him to the rock gym and I found out that I really liked it. When I came to Dartmouth, I really jumped in with the Dartmouth Mountaineering Club. I took four PE classes my freshman year. Beginner climbing, indoor climbing, ice climbing, and trad climbing. I liked to say that I was majoring in rock climbing that year. I think there are a lot of overlaps between engineering and rock climbing, actually. Um, a lot of engineers do rock climbing, and I think that's because the problem-solving process is present in both. I'm a TA for Engines 21, and I have been for three years now, and the, the central part of that class, which I think is the quintessential Dartmouth engineering class, is that the problem-solving process is all about iteration and failure and trying new things, and, and that problem-solving process is the same process that you use when you're working on a rock climbing route. You're trying it, you're seeing what works, you, know, you want to get as far as you can, fail, see what could go better, see what you could do differently, and then do it again. So it's that process of trying things and solving problems. Rock climbing is a great way to get outside, enjoy nature. We're really lucky up here at Dartmouth to have really good access to rock climbing and ice climbing and hiking and all of that. It's a great way to discover new places and it's just a, a fun thing to do. I think that my experience rock climbing influences my engineering in that it's taught me to take risks and to commit to things. Sometimes for the engineering process, that's what it takes. You have an idea, you just have to go with it and not be afraid to fail. I think the biggest reward of of combining climbing and engineering is that they balance each other out well. There's mental stimulation, physical stimulation, and it just leads to a full life. <laughs>